Bossing, an integral part of one third of the trifecta of RuneScape. You've got your skilling, you've got your PVPers, and most importantly, your PVMers. And within that PVM community is Bossing. Now, we've only green logged one boss slot, and that leaves another 43 boss slots left to green log. So, if you think about the odds of being able to do that, surely, with so many boss slots across so many different areas of the game, across so many different skill categories, drop percentages, drop rates, surely that means that within this video, we should be able to green log at least one additional boss slot. I can't promise that we will green log anything, but what I can promise is that we'll give it our best. But before we get into the video and before I start throwing clips at you, uh, I wanted to show you the new graphic for the 100% goals. So previously I would show at the start of the video a kind of screenshot of the skills tab and the kind of character summary tab. And then at the end, I would show you that again with the updated stuff and then some little graphics to say this one's plus one or whatever. But taking some inspiration from one of my favorite old school RuneScape YouTubers, Guides for Us All, um, I wanted to do a little bit, uh, to make it a little bit simpler, a little bit more easy to follow and something that you don't really have to maybe pause the video for as long or if at all. Um, so hopefully by now it's on the screen and you can see it and it looks good and you all get it and like it um, but this is how we're going to do this from now on um, I'm, I'm open to suggestions if you think this should be better or different or whatever um, and then at the end of the video I'll essentially change all of the things that have changed to green so you get to see very clearly what we've done also you would have seen that we've added some extra things to the completion list after chatting with the community, um, including everything in the costume room of the house was a, a constant suggestion. So that's what we've done. So we've got the uh, treasure chest, the armor case, the magic wardrobe, the cape rack, all that kind of stuff is in there. Can you hear those bloody cars outside? I'm keeping this in just why anyway that is what we are including as well so that um we are doing a kind of proper completionist run rather than something that's just got numbers on a page somewhere or achievement trophies or whatever um so if you do have any more suggestions again please put them down in the comments um and then this graphic will slowly update over time to include as much as physically possible Finally, with all that said, let's crack on with the video, eh? Holy shit! I just got the petal garland. Holy bollocks. That is proper lucky. Oh, that's it's just been waiting. That, it's just been long. It's just been really long. Thank God we got that out of the way. By the way, that means now we only need one more thing. And just God knows how long that's going to take me. Like, let's have a look in the forest kit. I started with 500 padded spoons. I've got 127 left. That, that's wild. That is that is very wild, but you know, I'm killing loads of stuff on the uh, the chunk locked account, so it gives me a good amount of time to just AFK magics. So maybe we will get it not too far from now, and I won't have to really think about it too much. Right, Matt has collared me for some bossing, so. We're going to do some Kriara. I went over to Duradel and got myself got myself more than one. 
there's not more than one, it's just me. Got myself a Aviancy's task. 194. Um, we're wearing Slayer Helm with basically full ranged armor chaps to stop them attacking me. Got a Zami Dehide as well just to be safe. Uh, Crystal Shield. Got the Pegasians. I've got the Ring of Suffering because we don't really have anything better and I haven't imbued my Archer's Ring but I don't know what would be best in slot there anyway. Uh, and Dragon Crossbow because Matt's going to take the armor crossbow that we've got. Um, and then Invent. Two ranging pots, some brews, restores, prayer, bit of food. Then I've got a mage switch and I've got blood barrage and ice barrage because what we're going to try and do is ice barrage the melee minion uh, just to reduce the damage. And then I've got the blowpipe just to spec to get some health back if we're uh, struggling. And I also went and got an EQ key so I don't have to mess around getting kill count. Because it's just a pain in the arse with armor and Sarah. So, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I've basically got, if I can find it, Kriara. Nothing. Nothing at all. We've only killed it 18 times. Uh, and then combat task wise, um, I think we've only got one task here. We've got the kill Kriara whilst all the bodyguards are dead. So we might get both of these KCs done. Uh, and I'm not going to do the Salamander because I can't be bothered. And I'm not doing this private rented stuff yet because I also cannot be bothered. So we might be able to get some stuff from this. Um, and hopefully we can uh, get some drops and not die. This run finished. Absolutely naff all. Uh, I got up to... 31 kc before i ran out of stuff uh, but i've got an, i've got another EQ key so we're gonna we're gonna go back that boss genuinely just annihilated me absolutely annihilated me literally i got so much prayer left but it just it just kept hitting over and over again so because we decided to sack Kriar off, um, we've now made our way over to Chambers of Zarek. Because surprisingly, Mr. Goon Smurf has decided that he'd like to join us for once. Instead of doing whatever the hell he's doing. Which definitely can't be better than playing RuneScape with us, but you know, whatever. Um, so we're going to run a normal Chambers. Um, we take quite a long time, so we're probably not going to do more than one because I've got to go in just over an hour-ish. Um, so we might have to speed run it a little bit. Um, but we basically, I, I've got nothing from this raid, absolutely nothing. Um, I've been given one of these by the lads just so I can actually have preserve. But yeah, I've got absolutely nothing. We've done it six times, so I'm not really expecting anything, but you never know. I might be able to get like a twisted bow and make Cox Junk upset. So let's run it, see what happens. Oh, I just got a thing. Shazian Specialist. What the hell's that? Let's have a quick gander. Shazian Specialist. Receive kill credit for a Lizman Shaman without taking damage from any shamans in the room. I think that makes me a professional gamer. Oh, there's, a, there's another task. I am hammering out the tasks in this raid. I assume that one was for not getting barraged or not getting hit at all, maybe. Receive kill credit for the Ice Demon without activating the Protect from Range Prayer. Oh no, I already got that one. Finish off the Ice Demon with a Fire Spell. Sweet. See? It's a good thing that I took Fire Spells. Nice one, boyos. No purples, but... That's a new PB. We'll take a new PB there, right? Bloody rubbish. 
Right, I am back from running my errands, so I think now it's time to do some Barrows runs. So at the moment we've done about 480 Barrows chests, so probably go for 500. Might go for some more if I can be bothered. Um, and I'm just thinking about combat tasks. I think we've done all of them. Yes, we've done all of them, so we don't have to worry about that. So we literally just have to worry about collection log slots. So what we've got left is RM hood and weapon. We need Darok's plate body, Guthan's skirt, we need Torag's head and legs, and we need Varok's helm. Uh, I think I've been quite unlucky um, in 480 chests because I've got quite a lot of dupes overall. So five crossbows, four war spears, and three of all of the bodies. Um, I think one thing I would be quite happy to get is the RM's rope top again, seeing as Goon Smurf still is using a blood bark top. God knows why. The man's just so lazy. He could easily do it himself, but he just he just refuses to. So getting one of those would be good because that would get him upgraded a little bit, help us out in raids a bit more. Um, in terms of the armor, I'm doing a tribrid setup. So a lot of range gear mainly um, with some melee stuff and I'm using mage weapons and uh, whatever. Uh, but we're going to be we're taking all of the combat styles anyway. Um, so I'll be using mage on the brothers, ranged on Arim and then melee in the air uh, for all the skeletons and things. Um, and we're going to use the POH method as well. So after every chest I'll be teleporting back to the house so I can use the pool and then using this barrows telly to get back to barrows itself so yeah let's see let's go to 500 see what we get hopefully we get something unique and that's it chest 500 so we've done 20 barrows chests today and got nothing of note Got 4k chaos, 1.5k blood, almost 10k mine, 2k death, and about 18k coins. It's good, you know. I'm Iron Man after all, so any runes that I get is always top quality. But really was looking for a unique. So I don't know, I don't know where I'm not feeling right now. I think I might go and do Potentially some more gauntlet. Yeah, let's go do some more gauntlet. Just hit 170 KC at Corrupted Gauntlet. I'm fast approaching that 200 drop rate. Early drop rate, should I say. Of the enhanced weapon seed. Hoping I'm one of the lucky few. Um, but I'm a bit bored of this now. So we'll move on to something different. We're going to try and not following Limpwort's footsteps uh, and not go dry at mole but we'll bring in the range setup we've got the shield and this, I just, this boss is just crap but we need the mole pet and we've only killed it 60 times so we've got quite a bit to go but let's see what happens. I'll see how many kills I can even be bothered to do at this thing. Whoever designed this boss was sadistic as all hell. Like this is just, this is just the worst. And God forbid you're using melee to kill this thing. Bloody hell. I, I can't even describe how sorry I feel for people like Limpwort who are trying to get the pet and going incredibly dry. I've just that's 100 kills and I already feel sick so I think that's it for this one for now <laughs> I don't think I can bring myself to do any more but I think a good thing to note is that I I really like the look of round numbers you mainly things like multiples of five or maybe just you know straight multiples of 10 uh, so you'll always see me end on like 100 or 50 
or whatever um, even if like this it is to the detriment of my mental health because this was uh, only 40 kills but it felt like a genuine lifetime here but that's another boss done for today still we've got basically no collection log stuff at all which is a bit sad but you know let's go on to the next boss and uh, see if we get more luck wherever that is and the decision is Obor so I'm gonna I don't know see how many uh, see how many keys I can get with the uh, amount of cannonballs I've got um, and then I'll just go and do that many Obor kills we're just looking for the club we've got all of the other stuff now so yeah let's see let's see how many keys we can get from this well I've literally used 600 cannonballs and got two long bones and a load of these but I also just received a second giant champion scroll what is this nonsense just give me some goddamn giant keys oh there is one. Oh crap I just missed one Brilliant. What a terrible day. Nobody panic. I found it. Nobody panic. Well, we used all of those cannonballs and we only got three giant keys. Mm, don't know about that. That seems fishy to me. I'll stay and get two more and then uh, we'll go run five obors. Right, we got our five giant keys so now it's time to make our way over to Obor gonna melee him this time uh, just cuz I'm feeling lazy I think I'm always lazy maybe one day I'll sweat something up but not today uh, so it's a 1 in 118 to get the Obor club the hill giant club so I've only killed 10 I think so I'm way, way under drop rate, but you never know. We might get spooned. All right, 15 KC at the big man. Ah. Well, we got two room med helms, 13k, five diamonds, five rubies, and 20 limp work roots. So that was uh, pretty poor. I need to go and get some more cannonballs, don't I? Then I can stay for, you know, 10, 20, 50 keys instead of five. <laughs> a collection log pop up in so long that I'm just gonna come here to get another, gonna just get one, just one, please. So we're gonna go for the granite helm. It is a one in 128, and I've just killed one. So another 127 to go, and we'll be on rate. Right. And it's 800. Log slots, log slots. What am I talking about? It's late, man. I just like I'm waffling now. In 800 kills, and when we don't have the log slot, we can uh, get mad at Jagex. And with that kill, we just hit drop rate. Ah, I don't know what's going on recently. I feel like I'm uh, getting soft locked out of all of these collection log slots by Jagex. I've not had as many as I would like, first of all, but also I've not had many that's been either on drop rate or below drop rate in quite a while. But you know, we we hope for the best. That's what we like to do here, hope for the best. There we go, the granite helm. That was 187 terror dog kills, so we were, you know, slightly over rate on that. Um, but the good thing about getting the granite helm from terror dogs, it means we don't have to get it from barbarian assault. And anything that we can do to take stuff away from barbarian assault is good with me. So we got 49 out of 74 on the Slayer tab now. And if we go over here to Barb Assault, there it is. So all of this stuff's gonna be 
just a ball lake to get but these two were fine so good happy with that now i can go to bed crafting break righty ho scurrious has just been released um people as you can see are obviously already bloody killing it as a group uh, I don't have a group at the moment because all of my buddy buds are offline. Bloody losers having lives and things. So I'm going to go in solo. Uh, I've got mage gear on uh, with just general prayer pots, food, and imbued heart. Just you know, standard stuff. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Um, I'm going to go into a private one, um, and then we're just going to go and do a kill so as far as i understand it we just need to protect from melee i think potentially it swaps to mage and range but because it's such a low level i might not even bother to be honest i'm going to dodge all of these things falling from the roof and then i think these food pars it essentially just goes and eats yeah so that's a mage hit tanked it another mage hit tanked it I think I just DPS the boss now while it heals and then it spawns all these rats which I'm just gonna keep protect from melee on and ignore them uh, and then I think it does this like green shot which looks like a ranged attack and I'll go and eat again DPS it another mage tanked it another mage oh three damage and that's the range here I think tank that as well uh, and now oh it pushed me back into that so those things do 19 damage so I think I just need to make sure that I dodge those uh, and now it should do all of the attacks plus constantly dropping stuff from the roof but I think we just it's just about DPS in it I think for me at where I am at, where I am at on the account and that's that uh, these things, I hope, disappear, and I don't have to kill them all. Okay, so these these things don't disappear after the kill, but they also don't respawn in the next kill, so you don't get like 10 rats. But I think I'm going to have to bring... I'll just splash that 46 rat with the fucking swamp. Bloody hell. I'm going to have to bring a switch melee, most likely to kill those rats because I don't want to be wasting swamp charges like I just did um, but I'm being lazy and I want to finish this invent before I go back and swap but yeah it's alright boss it's definitely a kind of mid level mid game boss um, but I'm only looking for as far as I understand it two drops from this the pet which the rate hasn't been released yet, obviously, because it's just come out. Uh, and the Scurrious Spine, which I think was that um, upgrade for something. I didn't really look at it too carefully. It's an upgrade for some weapon. I killed that one so fast that it didn't even spawn the rats. That's, uh, that's bloody lucky, isn't it? Hey, Scurrious Spine. I took 18 KC. I did not expect it to take that quickly to be honest uh, I don't know what it does I probably should look it up really but not bad now we only really need the pet and I assume there's going to be combat achievements at some point as well but I can't imagine they're going to be too difficult okay just so you know if you leave one of these giant rats alive at the end it still spawns the next lot of rats so don't do that I've been looking into this scurrious spine. What it looks like is that it will make the bone staff, the bone mace, and the bone short bone. And what they do is they add plus 10 damage to the player's max hit. So, does that, but it only does that when you use it on rats, including scurrious. So does that mean that it is technically best in slot for that? 
uh, is it best in slot for that boss? I don't know. Because it doesn't really tell me here what the max hit is anyway. So adding plus 10 to a max hit that I don't even know. Maybe it's not even worth it. Hmm. Maybe it will come out in the wash as people start to do things with it and understand it a bit better. For now I might pop it just in the bank. But I've also read that if you get excess um, scurrious spines you can actually exchange them for an antique lamp um, from historian Aldo who I think is the guy that's just outside the uh, the Rat King boss and that's what you get your you get 5k experience in attack defense, sit points, magic, prayer, range strength, you know all the melee, all the combat stuff which is probably what they meant by it's a quicker way to train melee because as far as I understand it, this Scurrious Spine is looking like it's potentially like a 1 in 50 drop or something like that. Because I got mine at 18kc and everyone else I've been speaking to got theirs pretty early on in between, you know, like 1kc and 20kc. So I've got a feeling like potentially we're, we're looking at about a 1 in 50 for it. Which means once you've made your three weapons, if you want to, you know, unless you kind of end a game like me, then you could just constantly trade these in for 5k XP a time. So it's not bad. It's not bad. We are back at Bandos. And look at who's here. Look at that little boy over there with his bloody dragon med helm. It's Goon Scott. I don't think I've ever actually explained Goon. It's not what your disgusting mind is going to. It is in reference to being stupid. Okay, because we're all stupid. We don't Goon. Or do we? Who knows? Anyway, we got the four out of the five of us. We don't talk about number five because he doesn't exist anymore. We haven't seen him in 20 years. So... Let's see if we can get anything good today. Looking for some more collection log slots. Look at that. You are attacked by a wild 97. I am a big buff boy. Oh my god. Another BGS for the boys. That's definitely mine. Don't let any of these guys tell you that's not mine. That is mine. Smurf keeps BGSs in his bank all the time when I need them, so that's that's mine. Fuck's sake. What is going on? This man is all over the bloody god sword shards tonight. That's your that's your fourth one, isn't it? You got two two twos and two threes in this one trip. Did you get them all only oh, no, got one from the boss? Three from minions. That's wild. That, that, is, that is really wild. <laughs> the garage door done with the boys. Got about uh, 20, 40, 60, about 75 ish kills in two hours. Uh, which is not so bad, I guess. Um, we came away with just under 700k. Some would say that's a curse number. I'd say that's pretty mel. Uh, as well as a Bandos Hill. Great drop, I've had two of those now. Uh, and then three God Sword Shards 2, and two God Sword Shards 3, which Smurf got. All in one trip. All from minions besides one which came from the boss. That is some kind of bad luck if you ask me. Um, so, we're going to go make a new BGS now. Can't remember really how this is done, but bosh, there we go. There's one and two. And then this should make one, two, and three. Nice. And then do I use that on that? Yes, I do. So there's our third BGS. And now I don't have to go around using that bloody Dragon Warhammer every time we go bossing. Even though I'm the one that got one of those fucking Bandos hilts. You know what I mean? But there we go. That's mine now, so that's going straight at my bank. We did some good things today. 
we got seven things ticked off and now it might not sound like a lot but it's something and that's kind of just like life sometimes it's not about ticking loads of stuff off your list or doing loads of things that you need to do all at the same time sometimes it's just starting with some easy things ticking off some small stuff uh, so take that with you into whatever you do today don't you get yourself too stressed out just do as much as you can and then relax you know take a break you all deserve it i love you very much and i'll see you next time whenever that may be it's going to be in two weeks you know it is